Uh, so today is the big groundbreaking where we're depaving. We have uh, about 75 people from the neighborhood, parents and teachers and neighborhood residents that are working together to rip up the asphalt here and we're gonna make a garden. This is really truly remarkable how, how it all comes together and it's amazing how many people are here and just join in and volunteer their time and, and accomplish uh, uh, such a, a large task in a short amount of time. You know, I mean, it's really exciting uh, trying to, you know, bang things up with, uh, you know, manual labor is very, uh, very therapeutic sometimes, yeah. My day job is accounting, so this was a, kind of what I wanted in volunteering was to do something very different from sitting at a desk crunching numbers, so this is a great kind of polar opposite for me. I'm loving it. It's very satisfying to dig that concrete up and watch the big chunks fall and break into pieces. It's great. Well, it's a, it's a really nice um, partnership that we have with, or funding partnership that we have with DePave. Um, what they're doing is just such a good junction with what we do as a soil and water conservation district. They're removing impervious surface and helping stormwater infiltrate back into the soil. And that's really one of the things that we're all about, particularly in the urban areas. And they have this incredible capacity to bring volunteers out and get the community involved. And that's just so important to us and work with DPay, which has really made it seamless. You know, they bring in the tools, they helped us with the budget, they uh, wrote uh, the bulk of the grant for it, and uh, it's uh, really turnkey. So what it's doing for the community is creating connections, strengthening connections, and um, getting people more comfortable with, with the space that they're, they're living in and with the neighbors that, they're, uh, that are living around them. This is one of the best friends, just helping the community and just working with people. And, I met so many new, new people, it's kind of beautiful just doing the community life. So. Well the project has been really fun actually. Uh, the people who know what they're doing have been really helpful for those of us who are new to this and helping us figure out what to do. Um, really good vibe out there, it seems like everybody's working well together, good teamwork, um, just fun. Hard work, I was surprised by how hard the work is, but really uh, just a good feeling to, to get it done. And, feels good to be working in our neighborhood school and yeah. That this playground could use a few, uh, a few trees uh, for shade because it does get really hot. Any amount of sun gets really hot and so I think it'll be really, I think it'll be really nice for them and I also like seeing a lot of the kids out here helping out today because they'll have ownership of this. They'll be able to come back in September and say hey guys look what I did. See that tree? Well I helped remove all this concrete and that's why you have trees now. I think it's nice. DPAVE does about four to five projects like this every year. This is 2,000 square feet. They range from two to 5,000 square feet typically. You know, a lot of people ask us why we're not just doing this with a backhoe or machinery, and to them we say, you're missing the point. So the whole point is to get together with your community members and to build uh, investment and community and to, to build a better space together. There's an interesting quote that someone posts on a website I go to fairly often, and he says, um, don't tell me what you believe in, tell me what you do, and I'll tell you what you believe in. And so I think this, again, just a, a really big part of that. Uh, think global, act local. If you're not out there doing it, who's going to do it?